all right traders welcome back to another daily watch list uh, with uh, the team uh, today we are going to be talking about uh, what happened yesterday with the fomc meeting well the federal reserve um, decided to leave interest rates uh, uh, unchanged right and uh continuing its pace on uh, or continuing the pace on its uh, asset purchasing program so uh, here is the pre uh, target rate probability for uh, for the uh, september 22nd fed meeting and right now we have a 100 percent probability of a rate hike uh in the next meeting and uh, of course uh yesterday we had a three percent probability of a rate hike in the next uh, fed meeting uh that that um uh i mean uh, because the fed hinted two rate heights uh rate hikes for before 2023 so this is going to or this is super bullish for the usd right now we are mid and short-term bulls on the us dollar right and uh we will continue to look for pullbacks to buy into uh, or, or weakness to buy into so on the four hour chart let's look at some levels on the four hour chart on the dxy um well we uh, completely broke with these highs we uh um, we uh i mean uh sellers didn't even stand a chance right here uh on this key level i mean the us dollar or the dxy has broken with the with uh one two three key levels with ease right and this was the biggest one of them all and uh what we are going to do guys because this is super plausible right and i am actually going to uh to do this because i am going to copy this into all of my charts because that it's an important key level right um i do this and change the color uh, uh to, actually i hate what uh, looking at red on my charts i'm gonna I'm going to green it. So uh, what I'm going to do, what we are going to do is we are going to wait for the pullback into that 9140 to buy into this weakness, right? Why? Because, um, well, we haven't, we, I mean, uh, this key level was, is, is absolutely so strong that um, um, it's pretty plausible that we are going to have a clear magnetic, <laughs> magnetic, we're going to have a clear retest before going higher before real bulls start to uh, jump in. I mean, that's a, that's a, that's the plan. That's one possible scenario. The other possible scenario is that uh, the DXY continues to, um, right, uh, to trade higher. But the thing is this, right? The thing is this on the DXY. We are testing another key level, right? We are testing another key level right here. Um, actually, let's go to the hourly. Let's go to the hourly because this is, oh, that's nice. <laughs> okay. Mm. Uh, on the hourly, I mean, uh, on the hourly looks, oh boy. On the hourly looks like uh, we had that breakout retest, but really, I mean, uh, really, mm, uh, yeah, it looks like we had the, the breakout retest, but uh, um, we really didn't have a uh, retest of the, the next key level uh the pullback and then the breakout of this key level i mean it, it could i mean uh, there's a pro possibility that uh, uh us dollar pools are going to continue to rip the us dollar higher uh without any deep uh pullbacks in which case we are not going to be able to make it into the boat but if we do have a deep pullback at least to this level right here at least to the previous highs, right? The 9164. This is where we're going to load with the loads, loads of uh, bullish or for, of um, longs in the US dollar. Now let's look at some structure. Uh, it's always good to look at the uh, structure in the market because uh, there's a possibility that we might be um, looking at structure highs. In this case, we are not looking at structure highs. Uh, but uh market structure wise uh there is a possibility that uh, this uh this um move is a little bit overshot and uh that we are going to have that deep pullback in which case we are going to uh look for very long longs uh and when i say very long longs uh i say big positions big positions uh, in the 1% to 2% range, right? 
So uh, that's uh, the play on the US dollar. Uh, if we look at gold, gold completely crashed yesterday due to the news on the FOMC hiking rates. That means they were, they are going to be fighting inflation. But the, the, the thing is that inflation is going to keep rising in the United States. It really doesn't matter if the Fed rises, uh, uh, hikes rates. Inflation is going to still be there because it's going to take a while before those monetary and uh, fiscal policies uh, act on inflation. So uh, this is just news driven. Uh, we are going to be looking for longs in the in the um, in gold again. Uh, and I know it sounds counterintuitive, but this is just news related reaction. The thing is that uh, if uh, the U.S. dollar continues to rise, uh, it's going to be very hard for metals to um, to follow uh, to follow uh, the bull path, right? So, uh, but right now we are at a key level in uh, the uh, in gold. This uh, this was a very strong level of of resistance uh, before we actually broke with it. We are retesting it. I'm not looking to for buys at the moment. Uh, the oscillator still prints that heavy, heavy, heavy uh, bullish divergence. Uh, but we we'll see. We'll see, right? Because there's. I mean, uh, we're going to follow two plans here. The first plan is uh, that we get some consolidation around this level uh, and uh, we are going to look for sales here, right? The second is that we get a spike high, right? We are not going to, we are not going to buy into this weakness. What we really need is a, is a, is a, it's a um, change in the trend. But if we get a uh, spike low, I'm sorry, not spike high. If we get a spike low and then a pullback and then a consolidation, that, my friends, is a rejection in my eyes, and then we will be looking for longs, right? Right. Uh, that's uh, that's the playing goal right now. There's nothing to do other than wait and see what happens. The direction on this market, on the short term, of course, is bearish, but on the very long term, it is bullish. So, um, yeah, we will see what what happens. Now, um, silver. Silver again, very choppy on the four-hour chart, on the on the hourly again super choppy, but on the two-week chart in silver, right? On the two-week chart in silver, I am still very much waiting for that uh, multi-year um, destructive, <laughs> uh, um, uh, that multi-year destructive uh, uh, breakout. We keep making a flat highs around the twenty-eight. Uh, let's call it the twenty-eight. To 30 level because I mean silver silver spikes high but buyers keep jumping in higher and higher what is this this is a flat triangle what is a flat triangle a continuation pattern we are still very much looking for that breakout in silver and the cool thing about this is now what we are going to look for buys way lower before the actual breakout because uh, well because right now this breakout I mean uh, we, I mean, playing the breakout would make this our risk, and that is way, way too high. But the reason that I'm looking for this multi-year breakout in silver is because of the sheer um, um, power that it may, it may have, right? The next key level in silver is at 35 uh, um, dollars per ounce, right? So we are talking about a possible, from breakout to high, a possible 22 percent move or 636 pips right with the very highs uh well the next key level if the 35 breaks would be that and this is a very if this is just uh me showing you what a multi-year breakout could look like ah i'm sorry i didn't uh, i didn't show you why this is very cool because of this right um the structure of this market um is bearish but, uh, and even, I mean, uh, this is the two week chart, the, um, even this part of the, of the chart is a, um, well, that's a mid term structure, right? It's bullish. And, uh, we had one fake out, two fake outs, right? It's, so I'm not saying that this is going to happen. It might not happen, but this is a scenario that I've been waiting for since, uh, Jul since, uh, since this spike high back in July 2020. I have been waiting for this uh, and uh, patiently for this. Um, and I have tried to, to buy this um, uh, breakout a couple of times, right? Without uh, success. 
but from the lows so right now in silver let's have a look at the four hour chart in silver um the big level in silver to the downside in my opinion should be around these levels around the 2650 or so yeah right where it's uh, trading at the moment uh this uh, should be the short term make it or break it level for for bulls in the sense that if price breaks to the downside we we could see more downside in silver again uh but the short term scenario uh, silver is not a short-term trade, uh, in my opinion. Remove drawings. Uh, it's not a short-term trade, in my opinion, because how choppy it is trading. Uh, it is a long-term trade um, to the upside, should this scenario play out. Now, let's have a look at the pound yen. Now, the pound yen, again, uh, it, let me just uh, go back to the daily chart on the top of my chart. Uh, on the pound yen, I'm still looking for that uh, uh, flag break. break uh, breakout i'm sorry still looking for that one let's look at the daily on the pound yen um yeah i mean you could say that it broke with uh, the structure but really um it really doesn't matter to me. in fact let's delete it because we are trading levels here right uh, we are trading levels and uh, let's uh, draw that structure that um yeah that uh that's stru not a structure but that uh, flag on the daily let's have a look at this i mean it is it is it is right there and uh the flag is very much in place still right as you can see even with the spike lows right uh we are still very much in play on this flag uh and will be unless we break with uh june 10th which was um uh, last friday's lows right if we break with last friday's lows i'm out of my trade i'm still on that trade though uh I am still on that trade uh, because my idea has not been yet invalidated. Now there is as we, we had yesterday one opportunity, but we delete that. Uh, but uh, right now there is absolutely no opportunity to buy into this weakness um, or to get into this market. Just look at uh, the uh, so 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 uh, at this choppy range in the GBP Jap uh, Japanese yen, right? Now let's have a look at some majors, uh, major currency pairs. Um, you know, the US dollar versus the, um, well, the US dollar is rallying at the moment. Uh, this was a very nice uh, spike high on the US dollar uh, yen. US dollar Swiss franc is rallying real super hard. The US dollar cat rallying super hard. Um, uh, the Euro USD crashed and uh, right, let's have a look at the Euro US dollar right uh remember i was telling you that there was absolutely nothing to do with the euro usd but to wait for it to crash into this level but because fomc right and the us dollar rising it completely obliterated this level now let's have a look at uh, the daily the daily there should be a couple of more levels in play but i think that uh, we are way past those levels again uh it broke with the 120 uh, the next level that I would be looking for is um, I'm actually not looking for buys in the euro US dollar since we are looking for buys in the US dollar. I'm looking for pullbacks in the euro US dollar to sell into that little strength, right? Uh, right now on the four hour chart, there's absolutely nothing to do but to wait. Well, this level is no longer in play. Um, yeah. So what we're going to do, right? Because we are looking for um, a little bit of uh, weakness in the US dollar. Remember, we are looking for a little bit of weakness in the US dollar to uh, to buy into at uh, that uh, around the 9140 level. Uh, hold on, 9140, where is it? Here, uh, I'll, I'll be alerted, so you will be too, don't worry about that. 9140 level, uh, there's, I mean, uh, if uh, that pullback really happens on the um, US dollar, uh, we could have that pullback into the uh, Euro USD right about here to sell it to that weakness and that would be a great risk to reward ratio on that one so um, 1980 yep 1980 uh, that would be a uh, uh, key level retest yeah so uh, that's uh, the, the GBP USD again uh, the GBP USD now the GBP USD is different because yeah I'm I'm um, I'm uh, I'm not too I'm not too uh, 
fond of trading the GBP USD at the moment. Uh, the rejection, the rejection, the reaction to the FOMC um, or the Fed was about 160 pips. Yeah, I mean it was from high to low, right? Um, and uh, right now we are at a key level on the pound. The pound is very strong, right? That's why I'm looking for that breakout. I'm not gonna buy into this weakness. That would be a mistake. Um, but uh, you know, uh, that's this is the FOMC candle, right? This is the uh, the FOMC candle right here. This big bearish candle, right? If we go to the four-hour chart on the DXY, this is the FOMC candle, right? And as you can see, the US dollar continued to rally after that candle. The GBP USD did not. The GBP USD did not continue to rally, which leads me to believe that in this market, the pound is the strongest of the two currencies. That's why I've been trading the pound um, on the GBP USD and the GBP Japanese yen. Now, we just need to see some strength in, in the pound. I wouldn't, I'm, I'm not going to buy here what I'm going to do because we're, we're trading below the 140. What I would do again is buy into some strength at the breakout of the 140, uh, 30 or so. Uh, for that final, final, final breakout of the um, 142.50 or so. Now, uh, structure-wise, uh, uh, structure-wise, let's see if we're trading inside of a structure here, because if we are, that is going to be very cool. Well, we, yeah, we are trading inside of a structure. That's very nice. So uh, we are trading inside of a structure. The structure is holding the pound. That, um is capping the downside of the pound right here so they are the possibilities of uh rally continuation or continuation rally in here is very high so i am going to mark this red because it's hot the us dollar can again uh rallying uh very high <laughs> um yeah this is uh i'm going to be sending this trade on the us dollar japanese yen in a while don't worry about it uh, I'll write the analysis, so, so there's absolutely no need for me to go through it. But it's, it's quite the, it's quite a good one, actually. Uh, and again, uh, let's uh, finish up with uh, uh, equities-wise. There's absolutely nothing to do here um, other than wait. Uh, well, it, this this is a cool thing. Uh, on the pound, yesterday I was looking for sh for longs on uh, uh, the Dow. Right, I didn't pan out. I didn't I didn't get in on. Um, uh, pre-market or anything it was I mean because we were still making lower highs that it would have been a mistake right now we are at uh, uh, retesting that key level again on the Dow uh, I'm not going to look uh, for buys um, pre-market I am however going to look at the you uh, at the you uh, yeah, at the New York Open now uh, this is uh, what I'm looking for uh, on the S&P 500. The S&P 500 uh, is really testing a very nice key level, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in all of my charts. Uh, where is it? Here. Right, well, where was it? Oh, this one. No, this one right here. All right, so this is the key level. Okay, cool. This lows right here, lows previous highs, excellent. So, uh, so as you can see on all of my charts, that's right. This is a massive key level on the daily. This is the level of rejection. I'm not saying that this is a buy right now, but I'm going. To, uh, but the market that I'm going to look for for buys is the S and P 500, not the Dow, not the Nasdaq. The Nasdaq, uh, well, the Nasdaq too. Actually, the Nasdaq is a much better uh, case of uh, a deep buy to a key level. So scratch that. I hadn't seen that Nasdaq long opportunity. I will be putting on a buy stop at any time soon on the Nasdaq. Uh, yeah, the Nasdaq is retesting that structure. It's retesting the previous highs. The Nasdaq is the one that, that should be in play. So uh, that's me. Uh, Bitcoin. Uh, Bitcoin. Um, uh, Bitcoin uh, rejected uh, and uh, uh, the previous highs, but it's still inside of that structure. Very nice structure. Um, 
uh, retesting the previous broken highs around these levels. So I do believe that we are still in a bullish structure, uh, short term in Bitcoin, you know, uh, and uh, it's very plausible that we are going to still be looking for longs here. So uh, keep that up. All right, so that's me. That's a 20 minute long video. Thanks for every, I mean, thanks uh, uh, to everybody that really um, watches it from uh, uh, from beginning to end because I mean, it's quite informative. I give up everything here. Uh, so trade safe. See you.